what's up happy people welcome back to my channel if you're new i'm dira evelyn and in today's video i'm going to be reading a letter that i wrote myself a little over two years ago also don't mind me i'm just sitting on the floor in my bedroom we have this nice window so i'm just sitting in front of it so the natural light will come in and hit my face <laughs> Like we get really good lighting in here. Like I don't have any lights on in the bedroom. This is all natural light hitting me right now. So the other night I was going through some old paperwork and just trashing things that we don't need anymore. And I came across this letter that I mailed myself two years ago. Well, over two years ago, I mailed this to myself in February in 2018. So when I was living back at home in DC before I got married, my hometown church had this women's event. And at this event, we had to write ourselves letters and they collected the letters from us and they mailed it to us like randomly, maybe a couple of months after we um, had the event. I actually never opened my letter when I received it in the mail. I felt like it was kind of too close to when the event happened although it was probably like a month or two after i had still kind of remember what i wrote myself basically i just wanted to totally forget about the letter and just one day so happily come across it and read it just like what happened <laughs> the other day so i found this letter in my stuff um that i was going through and I was like, wow, I never did open this letter. This is the perfect time to do so because <laughs> I can't remember a thing that I wrote in this letter. So I'm pretty interested in reading it and seeing what I wrote myself. Let's open this letter. Oh, wow. I totally forgot how it looked. It's a one page letter. Wow, I don't have the best handwriting but it's okay you all aren't reading it i am <laughs> so it reads dear dear hey girl <laughs> i just wanted to let you know that you are truly beautiful you are the most amazing person that i know you are so loving so caring and so true sometimes you may not feel worthy or loved by those around you but baby you are always worthy you are so deserving of so much even if people don't show you god always will and his love is all you will ever need on days when you feel sad he's there on days when you feel alone he's there even on your happiest days he's there he would never leave you i know growing up you didn't always receive the love you wanted but today that stops you would not seek the emotional support you want from others, but from yourself and God. You deserve love. You deserve words of affirmation. You deserve to smile, to laugh, to be happy. Love yourself and never stop. Take yourself out to brunch, listen to jazz, attend poetry slams, practice yoga, drink bubbly and read books anything you want is yours your dreams chase them live the life you always wanted but in order to do that you're going to have to do things you never done you'll be okay just don't look back love always adira wow i actually thought for a second that i was gonna cry reading this it's crazy reading this letter because I remember that season I was going through when I wrote this letter at this event. I was in my season of engagement and it was a very happy but stressful time. Like I'm young, I'm getting married, I'm planning to move to another city, another state. And also during that time I didn't feel a lot of support from certain people that I wanted. And I also just felt disconnected with a lot of people as well. You know, I know life happens and people have their own things going on, but I remember during this time, I just had craved 
so much more affection from people like i wanted more attention people to care people to check in on me you know i wanted more love and i just feel like i wasn't getting enough of that and i remember at this women's event how we talked about how we need to stop craving so much emotional support from others and you know craving love and attention that others are just not giving us instead of stressing ourselves out trying to receive something that someone is just never going to give us that we need to place all of that onto god because god is always going to be there for you and you should truly only want his love and his attention you should only ever crave him so that day i remember just telling myself you know what girl you just need to stop wanting so much from people and what you want from others give to yourself and what you can't give to yourself ask it from god naturally i'm just such a nice person and it's a pro and a con sometimes i love that i'm so nice sometimes i absolutely hate that i'm so nice but i am truly so nice and so caring i care a lot sometimes more than i need to but with me being that way i would expect so much from others like for example if if I respect you, I expect you to respect me back. If I'm nice to you, I expect you to be nice to me back. If I talk to you a certain way, I expect you to talk to me back <laughs> with that same energy, you know? And I, I talk respectful to people. I, I don't raise my voice and yell. I talk calmly to people. So, you know, the way I communicate, I expect you to communicate the same way back. Or if I'm always there for you, I expect you to be there when I need you. So basically, I was just expecting expectations from people that I was given to them. And you can't always expect people to give you what you give to them. Do what you do because it's from the kindness of your heart, but you can't expect everything in return. And I had to learn that and some people are just not that way i had to learn that people are who they are and i still sometimes have to tell myself that or travian tells me that <laughs> like you gotta stop caring so much and expecting so much from others because you're not ever going to be pleased and that's true but honestly opening this letter is so timely because during the season i'm currently in i just feel so much joy so much happiness in my heart outside of my marriage that i am really happy in just me alone singular as a person i just feel so much joy in my heart like i have been able i feel like for the past few years been able to make myself happy i don't need anyone to fill my cup up i don't need Travian to fill my cup up. I don't need my friends to fill my cup up. I don't need my family to fill my cup up. Like, I fill my cup up, God fills my cup up, and I'm truly satisfied with that. I'm able to have fun by myself. I'm able to make myself laugh. I'm able to have a good time. I'm able to spend time alone and not feel like I need someone else there with me. I've just been able to enjoy different hobbies, do different things, experience different things by myself without expecting anything from anyone and it's truly beautiful. I love how I put live the life you always wanted because I used to say that a lot and I haven't really been saying that. And I love how I also put in here live the life you always wanted because honestly we are in control of our own lives and i feel like i said this before in an old video like way back when i started this channel you are in control of your life you are in control of your own happiness anything you want go get it 
the only way to get the life that you want is if you create it if you have a passion that you love pursue that passion if you have a dream job that you really want go after it work hard towards it if you want to travel travel do the research and save your money and go if you want to be happy be happy learn how to make yourself be happy learn how to be alone learn how to go out and have fun without needing someone else there with you i am a firm believer that you can honestly create the life that you want and you know that's whatever that looks like to you to me creating the life i always wanted like my goal in life has always been to just be genuinely happy it's never been material things you can have the best job with the best money but it doesn't mean you're going to be happy or you can have the best wedding with the best detailing and the most gorgeous dress the most gorgeous suit but it doesn't mean you're gonna have a happy marriage so honestly with my life my goal is to just always be blessed and always be happy and always be humble because you can honestly have it all you can have it all but that doesn't mean you're gonna be happy. I definitely feel like I'm on the right path of creating the life I want. I'm like pursuing my passions. I'm doing things on a daily that make me happy. Just like this letter told me to do. Like I'm chasing my dreams. I'm having a good time by myself, loving myself and feeling good about myself. So I guess the main points that i want you all to take away from this video is one you are the only one who can fill your cup up you can't go looking trying to get someone else to fill your cup up only you can do that secondly i want to encourage you all to always seek god learn his word follow his word because that's honestly where you would gain the peers of happiness and joy from is from reading his word and my third tip is to take control of your life and your happiness so whatever it is that you want right now anything that you desire go after it what are you doing to get it oh one more thing i did want to point out the last line after it said live the life you always wanted it says but in order to do that you're gonna have to do things you've never done you create the life that you want so whatever you desire or you want out of this life if you honestly want it you're going to make it happen and it's not going to come easy you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone um, to pursue different things like certain relationships certain passions certain jobs goals like everything you can't just stay comfortable you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone and you're going to have to do things you've never done because nothing comes easy and i know i keep encouraging you all to always have god in your life but god also isn't going to do the work for you either like you can ask him for what you want and you know he'll be there he'll help you in his will if if the if what you want is in his plans for you he'll make it happen but he's not going to just let you sit around and do everything for you like no you're gonna to have to do the work too and i'm going to end the video on that note i really enjoy reading this letter that i wrote myself it was so timely it was so encouraging and i am so proud of myself for truly living out these words that i wrote to myself over two years ago i think this is a very fun activity for you all to do at home if you want to write yourself a letter and put it up somewhere in the house and randomly take it out a couple of months or a couple of years later and see how far you've grown and that is finally it for this video i hope you all enjoyed if you're not already subscribed i would truly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below and i will catch you all in my next video bye